ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vishali Patel from Balkendram, and welcome to the Ramayan skit at the Hindu temple of Hampton Road. Before we get started, if I can request everyone to please refrain from conversing while the kids are up here performing, as you all know that they have worked really hard to bring this to you today. Um, if I can, if these, let's show them the love, respect, and attention that they so deserve. Now, if we can all rise for our Indian national anthem sung by Urvi Jain, followed by our American national anthem sung by Sanaya Kapoor, and lastly, our Ganesha Shloka recited by Ananya Ayer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and please enjoy the show. Jana gana mana adina yaga jaya he bharat bhagya vidata Punjab sindhu gujarat maratha dravira kalabanga India himachala yamuna ganga uchala chala titaranga Tava shupa name jake Tava shupa shishama ke Jaya Gata Jana Gana Mangal Daayak Jaya Hai Bharat Bhagya Vidata Jaya Hai Jaya Hai Jaya Hai Jana Jaya 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 Hai Midway through the script is 
worshipped as perfect devotee of the Lord. The Ramayana teaches about human behavior, explores in depth the concept of Dharma, and provides guidance on living righteously. Please note that Balkendra has taken liberty with the script below so that its intended audience can grasp and enjoy the basic story and lesson, lessons learned from this great epic. We welcome, welcome you to, to the Ramayana. Here is the holy legend Ramayan. Brought to you by Vishy Valmik many long years ago, there lived two mighty races, the Kosalas and the Videhas. The Kosalas was ruled by the just king named Dashratha. He had four sons, Rama being the eldest, Bharat the second, Lakshman the third, and Shatrakhan the youngest. Meanwhile, the Vedahas was ruled by the just, the, the great king Janak, father of Sita, who welcomed you to the Swayamvara of Sita. So many suitors, who will she choose? The princess of the Sita had beauty that reached the ears of the other kingdom's royal families. Intrigued, they would go to Mithila to see whether the rumors they hear are true. When they see that it's indeed true, they would bring gifts and ask for her hand. This earned her too many suitors. Too many, in fact, that she would not be able to choose at all. Thank you. 
stands to announce the new king. a very important matter. I am now old and my days are almost done. When I am dead and gone, one of you must take my place as king. And for this, I have chosen Rama. For he is the oldest, he has the most knowledge and experience that will surely be helpful when he becomes king. But other than that, you can ask for anything. I implore you to make Buddha the region king and that Rama be banished from the Dagnut floor. I beg your pardon? Do you not remember your promise to me? You promised that you would give me any food that I wanted. But, but, exiling Rama to the forest for 14 years is like suicide. Evil lurks in the forest. You could refuse. You are the king after all. But what would that do to your honor, I wonder? You may be worried about Rama right now, but I know what else will be a great king. Decided to give KK what she wanted, as he, after all, he did promise her. 
The faithful wife Sita and the loving brother Lakshman came with him. It is time for Rama's exile now.
He was once the prince of Gosalus, but exiled. I want him, Ragnar. He has a heart. And very handsome, too. Handsome! <laughs> <laughs> the only problem would be his wife, Sita. But I would be willing to I would be willing to share his love with another woman. Then go, my dear sister, go to him. I do not think he will be able to resist your beauty, even if he already does have a wife. Do you think so? I know so. Help 
us? Have you seen a lady in an orange sari being dragged off by anyone? Indeed I have. I saw one fair maiden being dragged off by Ravana. She dropped some of her ornaments. Do they look like hers? This is the necklace and the bracelet I gave her. I can't believe she left us clues to help us find her. <laughs> Don't worry, brother. We'll find her and bring her back at all costs. <laughs> Rama, his wife Sita, and his brother Lakshman have been banished from the forest for 14 years. In the forest, an evil demon named Ravan kidnaps Sita. Hanuman, who lives in the same forest, agrees to help Rama find his wife. We find Hanuman using the extraordinary powers he possesses, flying to Lanka to begin his search for Sita, hoping to give her a token from Rama. Hanuman is now in Lanka at Ravan's palace. Somewhere, I'm pretty sure I've searched all of Lanka by now. That's got to be her. Who are you? Another one of, of Ravana's assistants here to torment me? Actually, my name is Hanuman, and I come as a messenger for Rama. Rama? Where is he? He hasn't forgotten me, has he? No. Not at all. He hasn't forgotten about you. He's been trying to find you ever since you were taken from him. Now that I've found you, I can take you back to him. I am Sita, the faithful princess of Ayodhya, and I will not let any other man than Rama save me. I still don't have any proof that you aren't one of Ravana's assistants or that I can trust you. Maybe this will clear your mind that Rama told me to give it to you. This is my husband's ring. You must be telling the truth then. Here, give this to him and tell him to hurry up and get me. <laughs> Hanuman made his way back to Rama's camp to report all his findings, but not before setting fire to all of Lanka, except the land Sita was sitting on. Rama ordered his men to build a bridge to Lanka. After the bridge's completion, Rama's army began their assault on Lanka. Ravana watched as his men went down one by one by one. Happy Diwali!
Now, who thinks they did a phenomenal job? One more time, guys. I'm gonna call out the characters and their names, and if you guys wanna step forward so everybody can know what a fantastic job you guys did today. Rohit Konduri is Janak. The young Sita, Varsha Padmanabhan. Sita's friends, Riya Shah, Sia Patel, Kanak Nandliya, Riya Ayer, Anamika Anil, Sanvi Patel, and Ayushi Chaya. Shatrugan, Om Patel. Lakshman, Ishan Patel. Bharat, Smith Kothari. Ram, Soham Patel. Dashrat, Anuradha Basanet. Kekai, Arti Patel. Mantra with Omeri Maharani, Garima Agarwal. Raksha, or Shurpanka, Anushka, Dubai. The older Lakshman, Smith Kothari. The older Ram, Dev Patel. The older Sita, Urvi Jain. The mighty Hanuman, Aditya Jain. And last, but definitely not the least, Ravan, played by Arjun Pandya. And our narrators, without which this would not go as smoothly as we would want it to, Ananya Ayer, Maya Kapoor, Sanya Chandiramani, Tanishi Soni, Tanvi Agarwal, and Arushi Raizada. Everybody, please, one more round of hands. These kids did a phenomenal job. And if I may, I had the pleasure of working with these kids um, last four weeks. These kids are phenomenal. You parents are doing such a fantastic job raising them. They listened to every instruction I gave them. They followed it to the T. This is the result of it, and they're just they're just so easy to work with. So thank you for doing such a wonderful job. It makes my job easier. Um, I would also like to take a moment to thank Balki and the team, Vishali, Ami, Deepthi, um, I know I'm forgetting someone, uh, Aarti and Anandita. These ladies are fantastic. You guys are wearing the Balkendra hat. Absolutely amazing. I've been with Balkendra for almost 10 years in some form or the other. And you guys are carrying, carrying this, this thing beautifully. Um, would also like to thank the the stage. What do we think about the, the props, guys? Right? And so we have an in-house architect who built this. So I'd like to sh give a shout out to Gina and Mansa who worked so hard together um, for doing this. And then, last but not the least, the parents. I mean, look at your work. The outfits were unbelievable. You guys really went all out. So a, a big round of applause for all of you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting. I'm going to get in the middle because uh, I have the honor to direct these kids and I'm going to invite Vishali. We can get a group shot with all these wonderful actors. Thank you so much again. Little kids kneel in the front. Sit down on the floor, up in the front. Come in the front. Go in the front. I'll go in the front. Artu, keep going that way.
Hold on, there's more coming. There's more coming. More time, more time. Hold on, hold on. Gino Kotori for bringing the beautiful backdrop to life and our assistant, Mansi Sabla. Gino has been working on this since December. Gino, we not only want to thank you, but we truly acknowledge and appreciate your vision and your hard work. Ladies, thank you so much for your hard work and dedication. Give it up, guys. They've been working on this since December. Thank you, ladies. Thank you once again, ladies. Gino, you truly have a beautiful vision. Next, we would like to call Neha Jain, the director of this play. Neha has been working with these kids endlessly, and let me tell you, it's not easy working with a wide age range group from 6 year old to 14 year olds ensuring that they know their lines, facial expressions, and cues. Neha, thank you for bringing out the actors within them. You heard what I said earlier. Dr. Nono, actor, find her. Thank you, Neha. Thank you to all my Balkander parents for helping us with music, costumes, and stage preparations. I know it has not been easy. I've been calling a lot of rehearsals, but you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. A big and special thanks to Mark Phillips, my audiovisual friend. Thank you, Mark, for being so accommodating to all my requests. <laughs> Lastly, to my Balkander team. 
Nandita Paria, Dipti Verma, Ami Vyas, and Arti Sangui. Thank you, ladies, as always, for your hard work. All right, guys. So a few things I wanted to recap from today's program. There are great lessons to be learned from this epic, which we try to ingrain here at Balkendra. Number one is love and respect for parents. Hopefully, they will see the attachment you have for them, and that will make them more respectful towards you. It teaches the kids the difference between right and wrong. You can teach your child to choose right over wrong, even when wrong may feel more right, by giving them the example of Bharat. Keeping your promises, even in small things, like cleaning up your room, or doing your homework, or simply just eating your vegetables. <laughs> Beware of good and bad company. And this is a very important lesson for your children Teach them to be firm of mind and not to be swayed by others. It teaches them to question their behavior and think of the consequences of their decisions, whether it's big or small. The wise always seeks the company of the wise. Sibling relationships, the importance of loving and standing by your siblings. Therefore, retell the Ramayana to your children, not just for its pity, but also because the magnum opus teaches your children to have strong values and live a life of righteousness. The epic will enrich their lives and help you mold your children to be the leaders of tomorrow with strong cultural and traditional influences. This story fits all human emotions within a framework of time, space, and motion. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and supporting our Balkan their students. Thank you and hope you enjoyed the show. Right. Parents, four or five manpower. If you guys can help us just put our props back into the storage area, greatly appreciate it. Don't all come running at once. I mean seriously, don't all come like gladiators. So help yourselves, it's in the kitchen.